Things have drastically changed here on our campus. Athletics has a very, very important effect on any college campus. When we look at enrollment, were it not for our athletic programs, the numbers that we were able to announce a few weeks ago would not have been there. There are several hundred athletes who are students here on our campus. And I emphasize that they are students here on our campus in addition to being athletes. I had the opportunity of serving as the interim chair of our Department of Business Administration. And I've always been very excited and impressed with the caliber of students in our business programs that are athletes on our campus. So our coaches are not only doing an outstanding job when it comes to playing the games, the different sports that they are in charge of, but they're also doing an outstanding job in making good students out of those athletes that they are in charge of. And I appreciate that and I thank you for the wonderful work that you are doing. In addition to enrollment that uh, ath athletics brings to a campus, athletics also contributes to the culture, the quality of life, not only on the campus, but also within the community. We've had our soccer team, we've had our rugby team, and especially our rugby team playing games out at one of our, uh, one of our stadiums in the community. And I hear very often a lot of, of, of very exciting things about people who have never seen a rugby game, you know, <laughs> being able to go to Franco Hunter Park and to see the rugby game. And, and we have a very, very, and, I, and I'm not singling out rugby, but we have a very, very good rugby team. I understand that we beat another school up north really bad the other day. Basketball teams outstanding. Coach Kadara, you know, coach of the year, and that brings visibility to the LSUA campus. You know, so it were, were it not for our athletic programs, we would not have that visibility locally, we would not have that visibility statewide or nationally. So, my, my main point is that I really appreciate the athletic program here on our campus, and I thank you guys again, ladies and gentlemen, for all that you do to make campus life here and, and all that the better for our students and all that you do for our students. So there are a lot of things that athletics brings to a college campus. In the past, we have had to kind of split the duties of an athletic director with one of our coaches. So Bob Austin, stand for me please. <laughs> I always hate to ask him to stand. <laughs> <laughs> but we really appreciate everything that you have done as our interim athletic director. I know that we have taken time away from your practice schedule with your team, but you have done an outstanding job, and I know you're excited to get back into the job that you came to do, <laughs> excited to get back yes, into sir. the coaching. But we really appreciate everything that you have done as our interim athletic director. And of course, uh, when you step out of that position, as I will probably be stepping out of this one real soon, <laughs> uh, we appreciate everything that you've done in that position. So let's Thank get it. So the decision was made to, to go for a full-time athletic director. So we had a search committee that was formed, and that search committee um, got lots of applications in, and search committee went through those applications trying to find the best fit for Louisiana State University at Alexandria. <clears throat> and we think that we have found exactly the person that we are looking for. We think that the young man that I'm about to introduce brings quite a bit to this campus. You know, he is, uh, first of all, he is student-centered. And that's one of the main things that we were looking for, someone that was going to have academic excellence as one of the things that that person would be looking for. And I think we've found just the, the young man that's going to do that. He's gonna continue the pursuit of athletic excellence as our existing coaches have done. He's going to be able to devote full time to the job of being the athletic director. He will not have to coach a team and split his time. 
And that's going to, of course, benefit our athletic program. He's going to be, uh, you know, responsible for overseeing all of the activities of athletics here on our campus. And I'm sure that he's going to work in close contact and in concert with our coaches here. I think that they are beginning to develop a really good relationship. And as the interim chancellor, know that I'm here to assist in any way that I can to help promote athletics here on our campus. So it is my pleasure to introduce to you this morning our new athletic director for Louisiana State University here at Alexandria in the person of Adam Johnson. And just to tell you a little bit about Adam, he is uh, a graduate of Northwestern State University with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, so he's going to know about that business side of athletics. He also has a Master of Science from Northwestern State University in Health and Human Performance and Sports Administration. Another plus, you know, Master's in Sports Administration. He has worked for the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame Foundation as Advertising Director and worked with the event staff. He has also served as a graduate assistant, student assistant at Northwestern State University. He was an assistant director of athletics, uh, athletics media relations at the University of North Florida, director of ticket operations, assistant director of marketing at Northwestern State University, assistant director of athletics for tickets and operations at University of Louisiana Monroe. And he comes to us from Northwestern having recently served as senior associate director of athletics. He is again committed to academic excellence. He has all of the skills that we believe we are looking for in an athletic director, and we are looking forward to what Adam will bring to our institution. Uh, his wife, Elizabeth, is also here with him. Elizabeth, would you stand? <laughs> thank you so much for being here today, and thank you for your willingness to share Adam with us. And Holly, is it Holly? Yes, sir. The center of attention. <laughs> okay. So uh, again, uh, we are delighted that Adam has accepted the position of athletic director here at Louisiana State University. And I know that uh, Northwestern doesn't want to give him up. But for those of you who are here from Northwestern, uh, thank you for allowing us to bring Adam on board. And uh, we look forward to him setting up competition with Northwestern. I'm a brand of Northwestern. You know, so uh, we, we look forward to maybe doing some things together with Northwestern. You know, we're here in the same region. And uh, we think that you know, there's a bright future for both of us. So at this time, please join me in welcoming LSUA's new athletic director, Adam Johnson. Be a bad time to say that I'm speechless, right? <laughs> but uh, this is definitely the kind of moment that can take your breath away. I, I spent a lot of time thinking about preparing for what this moment would be like, but you really can't appreciate it until that moment arrives. So thank you all, seriously, thank you all for being here today. This is quite a day, quite a day to be part of the LSUA family. And that's what today is about. Today is about the future of the LSUA Generals. Sure, I'm gonna spend a few minutes going through some thank yous for some folks that certainly deserve to hear that, but then we're gonna talk about LSUA athletics. I'm, I feel very blessed to be here. I'm very thrilled that LSUA is on the path that God has set for me and my family. Dr. Joyner, thank you for the confidence that you've shown in, in providing me this incredible opportunity. It's an opportunity that comes with a great deal of responsibility and a responsibility that I will take very, very seriously. I wanna say thank you to Dr. Howard, Darren Baxton, Abby Bain, Melissa Parks, Chad Go Go Chad Chad Chad, Chad. 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 Go Chad Charlie Williams and the coaches and staff in the athletic department. You were all a part of the process that brought me to LSUA and certainly contributed to the factors that made me know that LSUA was a great place for me and my family. As I look around this room, there's a new a number of faces of folks with whom I've worked in the past, and I appreciate you all being here today. There's one that I would be remiss if I didn't point out. I've had the privilege to work under Greg Burke in numerous roles, numerous times. Through those times, I've gone to Greg and I've asked for advice, I've asked for guidance. 
Sometimes he's come to me and he's provided unsolicited guidance. <laughs> it's good. But more often than either one of those, I've observed. And Greg has shown that it's not easy to be an athletic director all the time. Probably, rarely is it easy. But I've seen a passion that I'm not sure can be rivaled. I've seen a work ethic that I strive to emulate. And I've seen that relationships set the course for success. So Greg, thank you for your leadership, your guidance, and your friendship. My mom is here today. Lee Johnson, uh, I know you wouldn't have missed this, just like all the Little League football games that we played <laughs> around Bringhurst when we were growing up in Leesville, all the high school basketball games. Uh, you and Dad truly instilled values of honesty, integrity, hard work, as well as treating others fairly and with respect. And those are things that go much larger than just talking here at LSUA or in the workplace. Those are life lessons. So thank you for those life lessons and for the endless support. Dr. How Dr. Joyner introduced my amazing wife, Elizabeth, one-year-old daughter, Hawk Holly. I can't say enough about these two. Y'all truly are my world. Liz and I met working in college athletics at ULM. Um, after we started dating, she took a job at Auburn, and I realized that's a bad word. <laughs> so I won't even tell you that she's also a former student athlete and has two degrees from Ole Miss. <laughs> we, uh, we did the long distance thing for a while, and I was, I was determined I was going to find a job at Auburn and move out there and be with her. Opportunity came up at Northwestern State, and she said, let's go. She was a, a rising star in athletic administration and college athletics herself, and she gave that up for us to start our family. Working in college athletics is more than just a job, it's a lifestyle. And I'm appreciative and thankful that my family understands that and buys into that lifestyle. Aside from the sacrifices that Liz has made career-wise, she's right beside me all the way. Y'all will get to know her, and y'all will get to know Holly. Holly likes to <laughs> yell at the officials when the calls don't go our way. <laughs> So now let's talk about the generals. I promise we talk about LSUA athletics. A young athletic department. Baseball and softball are the veterans of the group that will celebrate just 10 years of their existence this year. Five programs have been around only a couple of years longer than my daughter. Two, two more will come into the fold this year. For someone who hears just that and hasn't been looking at the scoreboards, they may be inclined to think, okay, well, are they winning? <laughs> well, you know, yes. Those of you in this room know better than I that the generals have had some success. I had the privilege of coming into an athletic department to work with a fantastic group of coaches and staff. Already we've had an informal department meeting. I've been able to attend Red River Athletic Conference AD's meetings. I've been working with several folks around campus to get acclimated a little bit. While I've only gotten a taste of life at LSUA, I can promise you that I'm hungry for more. Coming to a department that has some success means the bar's already set at a pretty high level. So our job now is to push that bar even higher. In the coming months, we will develop a robust strategic plan and we're going to base that plan on four areas of emphasis. Number one, academic excellence. Uh, the commitment to academics will take top billing. Student athletes will be leaders in the classroom, on campus, and in the community as they work toward the goal of earning a degree and preparing for life after LSUA. Number two is accountability. Working as one unit within the university, athletics will remain accountable and transparent in all aspects of our operations from budgeting to student athlete welfare. We will serve and represent the university in a first-class manner, focusing on the champions of character core values. Those are integrity, respect, responsibility, sportsmanship, and servant leadership. Number three is achievement. In addition to earning a degree, LSUA student athletes will challenge themselves daily in practice and competition in the pursuit of championships. It will be our goal to be annual contenders in the conference, in the region, and on the NAIA national scene. Number four is affinity. We will strive to provide a second to none environment for student athletes from the recruiting process through graduation. From an internal and external viewpoint, learning about and listening to all those who are affiliated with LSUA will advance our efforts to grow affinity and loyalty. We will work to enhance the game day experience while growing existing revenue streams and looking for new ones. Let me put affinity in a little simpler terms. LSUA will be Sinlaw's college team. Will it be challenging to develop this plan? Yes. Will it be more difficult to execute the things that we establish? Absolutely. It was once said, the greater the obstacle, the more glory in overcoming it. So coaches, student athletes in the room, I think you can agree with me when I say I'm ready to overcome some obstacles. I'm humbled, I'm honored, I'm blessed, and I'm excited to join the LSUA team. For being here today, I, again, I say thank you to all of you, and go Generals.